Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to show you how to restore a Singer sewing machine bentwood case. The first thing to do is to remove the handle by removing the two nuts inside the lid. If there's any loose veneer, glue it back down with wood glue and clamp it in place for about 24 hours. It seems every sewing machine case has splashes of paint on them somewhere. Gently use a Stanley knife blade or something similar to scrape these off. You just want to remove the paint splashes, so be careful not to scratch the wood. The original finish to these bent wood cases is not varnish, but shellac, and we can remove shellac using methylated spirits. Depending where in the world you are, you may know this as denatured alcohol. Here in the UK, it usually comes in this fetching shade of purple to discourage people from drinking it. Methylated spirits or denatured alcohol will melt the old shellac, allowing it to be removed from the case without the need to sand. You will need to wear a pair of protective gloves for this bit. Apply the methylated spirits using a piece of Scotch Brite. Scotch Brite is similar to a green pan scrub. Try not to be as clumsy as Jim with the meths. As you rub the Scotch Brite over the case, you will feel the old shellac start to soften. Keep applying the methylated spirits until you feel the shellac is fully dissolved and wipe off with a piece of kitchen towel. You can see the old shellac is a dark brown colour. I believe this is a combination of coloured shellac and years of dirt. A word of warning here, the shellac will start to go sticky and dry again very quickly, so patience is needed to remove it all. The beauty of this is that by just reapplying more methylated spirits, it will soften it up again. Take great care over the single logo decal. You don't want to scrub this area or you will destroy the decal. You may notice that once the shellac has been removed, it loses its gold colouring and turns almost silver. It will take a while to remove all the shellac, so take your time. You will be able to see and feel when the shellac has been completely removed. It's worth going over one last time with methylated spirits and allowing it to dry. Once fully dry, and this should take only 20 minutes or so, you may find that the methylated spirits has caused the grain in the wood to lift a little. Use a piece of dry scotch bright pad or fine sandpaper to flat this down a little and then wipe clean. We like to go over the whole case with a mid-coloured wood stain. This one is Rustin's Wood Dye in medium oak. We're only using a light coat to bring out a richer, warmer colour in the wood, and this can be repeated if necessary. Once dry, you may find that the wood dye has also lifted the grain again, so go over with the Scotch Brite again and dust it clean. We're now going to varnish the case. We're using a clear, water-based interior varnish, and the one we like is by Johnston's. It's available in matte, satin or gloss, and for this project we're using the gloss. 
As you can see, it's a milky liquid that dries clear. It also dries quite quickly, so it's important to make sure you give it a good even coat and don't overwork it. Lay the varnish off in the direction of the wood grain for the best finish. Leave to fully dry and repeat the process until you get the desired level of shine. These cases have had four coats of the varnish, and as you can see they have quite a high gloss finish, while still showing the grain of the wood. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.